Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. How are you? Yep, we're checking out the cargo lorries here. Look at all of these heading into my city. And what, may you ask, am I doing here, walking around at ground level? Here we go. We're heading into our industrial district. And the lorries are heading down this path. There is a whole queue of them. <laughs> Let's speed up to the end. Yep, I've added one of the first person mods that I mentioned in my top five mods gameplay tweaks. Here we go, and they're all coming down here and stopping at this junction. Every single one of them, we need to fix that. This is the first person camera mod by UM3K. It's called ground level camera action. I like this one, it's dead easy. You can use tab to get in and out of it and shift to go quicker. This is normal walking. Press shift, and there we go. We can see we're in before. That's where we are. If you turn this on here and press tab, there we go. You don't get all of the, the stuff around. This works really, really well. Oh, let's not get run over by a train. Hey, we're racing a train. Here comes a cargo train. But I really like that. That's an excellent addition to the game. But this is what's happening. They're coming out of here. Let's turn this back onto normal. And they're queuing all the way down here. And most of them are trying to get up into different areas here. And what we can do with another mod... I've added the traffic, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it's called. Tells you where the traffic goes. I'm going to put the link below. But these are all coming out of here. And if we click on this little button in the corner, make sure we're clicking on the truck. Nope, let's try that again. There we go, the front of the ore truck. Shows us where he's come from. So he's come from here and where he's going. There we go, and most of them are going into here. So let's click on another one. There we go. Yep, he's going round there. Let's click on this one. There we go, he's going over there. And then you can just click on the button to turn that off. That works actually if you click on a building. Let's click on this building. It's a bit slower because we've got the hourglass. I have to just wait for it to build up. There we go. That's now plotted where any trucks and vehicles are going from this building to anywhere. So we can see... Most of them are going up, and, or a lot of them are going up and round here. Some are following this way and coming in over here. And back out again, it looks like. It's like they're coming in, going out, going on the other side. And back over, where are they going? So they're coming out. Down here and back again. Yeah, oh, well, they must be dropping stuff off somewhere. It, it's a work in progress, this mod, but it's getting there. And you can do the same with bits of road. You can see which cars come in and out of bits of road as well. I won't click on that one. It will slow, it will sort of pause your game for a bit while it sort of works out what it's doing. But the actual clicking on the trucks one is brilliant. So you can see where things are going and what you need to improve. And this has shown me that I need to improve this road at the top because they only come in and out here. So they could come in and out of any of these roads. They're all two-way roads, as far as I'm aware. Let's have a look. Things are going up and down. Yeah, so we can we can we can fix this. We can give them some more road. Probably oh, don't want to upgrade. Probably just need to extend that a little bit. Let's do that along here. There we go. Let's connect. Space already occupied. Okay, we'll do one at a time. There we go. Excellent. And then the next load of these that come out. Let's just fill this up with some nice normal industry. There we go. They will start heading along there as well, which is good. So that's going to help with a little bit of traffic there. Actually, I do not want to zone these ones on the main road. Let's right click and remove that. Thank you as well for all of your hints and tips and comments that you've been giving me. Let's just take and take a little bit out there. You've got a bit of a buffer for the trucks that are coming in and out. So there we go. Is that another cargo train? Freight train. Yep. Trucks are coming out. Let's see where they go. Let's see. Let's see. They're heading down the road. Let's speed that up a bit. And yep. They're splitting off, taking the roads different directions. Excellent. So that will help with the traffic here. Instead of coming all the way down there and all the way back up again. So this is this is a busy area here, but things are moving. Um, quite often that traffic tool, it can be a bit... It can sort of catch you out. You think... 
you think that it's showing you that it's heavy traffic. Well, it is, but it's really telling you how many people are moving through that area. And things do keep moving generally. I don't know what he was doing there. He was coming out of everything. This is a bit slow. So I'm just thinking here what I could do is maybe not have that connect there and have them go through to a separate road. So you've got the road to get up and down to here, but have a little separate one to get onto the roundabout, maybe. It would mean destroying my steelworks and things here. Um, let's give that a go. I'm not sure whether that's actually going to help or not. No, let's leave it. It's moving. It's okay. It's not backing up too much. We'll see how that goes. We've got a few abandoned buildings, but... Let's just see why he's abandoned. Probably near yeah, dead people. That's the thing. Where's my nearest? Dead people at the minute is a thing because of traffic. There's one here. I'm going to add another one at the top here, you know. Let's add him on the side. Just there. Mostly it's because of traffic. That's the problem. I'm not going to delete every building that's abandoned because they will sometimes get taken, taken over again as things improve. And we could do improving the land value over here. It's very low. Let's see, what could we add in? A little small park in the middle here. We have nothing over here at all. Let's try and get it in the middle here and cover most of the area. There we go. Nice little park. Go and play in your lunch breaks. But that is now moving a lot better. We haven't got as much of a queue down here as we had. Still a little bit of a queue, but not too bad. And it's moving. So that's good. So that's that sort of issue sorted, as it were. Um, what other mod? Yeah, we've got the camera status mod. I've added the brush tool mod as well, which is something I wanted to do. I think these are complaining because of dead people as well. Yeah, we have the guy down here, don't we? This is interesting. If I click on my crematorium, give the game a couple of seconds just to work out what's going on, and that will tell me where my seven hearses are going. Let's close that. So we can see some are coming up here. A lot are going this way. Look, he's coming all the way over here, collecting stuff. So, that's not good, but what I was thinking of doing was adding another... Another hearse... Another crematorium up here. Just to help sort of cover... Oh, I did add one over there, look. Oh, well, we've got two up there now, just to sort of help with that area. And I was looking at the traffic here. It's not bad going round there. This bit gets whoops, gets a bit sticky, but it's moving again. It's it sort of stops and starts. It's not too bad. Do we have yeah, we've got traffic lights here, which is annoying. So I'm wondering whether I could make this triangle one way. So if they go up there, they can get off up there. If they're coming down, they won't be able to get out. No, maybe not. But it moves, look. It's not too bad. So they're not backing up to the next junction and blocking things off. And it's not affecting the highway. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now up here, I need to change this. This is another fix that one of you guys mentioned. They're going off this way, but they're not going off this way. There we go. Let's add that. My trains do back up quite a bit. They're very busy. Some of these on and off sort of ramp sections or whatever you'd call them are very small. Let's just pause the game a second. I need to make these a lot bigger. Let's do that. This one here as well. Let's do it over here. Oh, well, wow, that's weird. Yeah, don't want it like that. We want it curved like this. Yeah, that's more like it. There we go. Yep, so they can get out that way, they can get in this way. That's curved okay. <clears throat> that should be better. This one's a bit small here. Let's, let's delete this one and make this bigger. It never curves the way you want. No, don't want it curve. I want it curving there and then curving round, and it won't let me. Let's do the freeform tool. <laughs> of 
Come on. So that will curve now. Is that gonna? Yeah, it'll do it. That's a bit weird. That I don't like that. Let's let's join these up. Okay, well it's done it right anyway, and it's a bit longer, so that's good. This train, quick, get back on the tracks. What's he waiting for? That is weird. Is he waiting for space to go? Where does he want to get in? Where does he want to go to? To Lost Crew. So he's leaving. If I mess something up here, he doesn't seem to be able to want to leave. Okay. He's kicked back into action. <laughs> that was weird. Let's get some train track. Join that up. Okay, he's a bit got a bit balky there, but he's okay now. Um, yeah, trains are moving slowly. I mean, look there. Why is he backed up? Are they facing the same way on the same track? No, they're not. They're driving on the left. Okay, that's good. Well, at least it's busy, which is good. And we've got some bypasses put in as well if we need them. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right, something else that was mentioned. I mistakenly said in one of the episodes that these were getting abandoned a lot because, let's check them, not enough workers, and people were saying they need low educated workers. They do not. They will take any sort of worker at all, but because they're on the outskirts and they're far away from any other workers, that's when it starts becoming a problem. So I did put in over here some... Some nice residential. Well, I put in... No, I didn't. I put in some residential that was going to be low residential. That was the idea. Let us... De oh, I'm using the wrong tool. Let's dezone this again. There we go. So it's going to be low residential, hoping that they would then come and work over here. But that is actually not what's needed. It is basically down to people getting from here to here. It's, it's a job and a half. Now, I'm just wondering... That's a two-way road, that's two-way, that's one-way. Could we just attach this actually back over here? I think that might be an idea. Let's just attach that there. And I was, what I was thinking of doing, you know, just to keep that moving, was to add... Because what have I got here? I've got... That's one way going up, one way coming down... And that's two way along there. Okay. I was just thinking of adding a quick way for residents to get across here. Straight across the bypass. Straight across the roads and over here. I don't know whether that's going to sort of cause some other weird issue and problem. Look, this is all moving okay again over here. This isn't too bad. This little roundabout that everyone complained about. Things are moving. I'm deliberately not looking at this area because it's a disaster. But we'll, <laughs> we'll come to that. Whether... But this is all two-way. Whether I could just go straight across the top and attach... Which way is this one going? This is coming out. This one's going in. Attach here. I do not know whether that would be a good idea. Let's have a quick look at our metros. We've got metros. There, there. We've got metros over here. And we've got lines that go all the way round. Where that? Let's add another. Create a new line from there to there to here to there and back here again. Just a loop there. See whether that helps. Actually, I think that'd be better than creating another road. We've got so much traffic. How are the buses doing? Do we have bus stops over here? We do. No, that's a metro, isn't it? Do we have bus stops over here? Am I clicking on the right thing? Bus lines, yeah. Um, whether to add... It doesn't look like there's bus lines coming up here, does it? Let's add some bus stops in over here.
bus line, bus depot. Where shall I start it? If I start it here, and then go. It won't let me click anywhere. So I can go this way. Add stop, add stop. Can't add stops on these roads, I'm assuming. Can add stops over here, okay. So where's this going to go? If I had a stop right over here, if it goes up and over and round. Okay, not too bad. Well, let's add a stop. Let's add a stop this end first. So that's going to go round the roundabout. Let's add a stop here. And try and sort of service this a bit. There we go. And then over here. Don't need one there, so we'll come down the other side of the road. Let's see. Yep, there. It's going to be a long bus route, this one. And then to there, and then we'll come down the other side. Come to there, up here. This should help. Yeah, because they can then walk, and then finish there, and then bring it all the way back. Complete line. There we go. Let's give that a go. And just see whether that helps just get people up here a bit more. I want to tr try that rather than just delete things and, yeah, let it struggle. We'll give that a go. How's things looking over here? Still getting some queues coming down there. Um... Let's just see. Well, let's just pause it a sec and see where some of these guys are going. So he's going round, up, out. He's coming all the way over there. He's an ore truck. Okay. Let's randomly pick someone else in the line. He's an ore truck as well. So they're all ore trucks. Exporting ore goods. He's going back to the cargo rail. Really? He has to go all the way back up there to get back onto the cargo... Hang on a sec. Can't he go up here and down there? Oh, that's one way out, isn't it? Darn it. So we need a connection from here to here. Well, glad I spotted that. You see, this tool is useful. Uh, this is going to add a junction. If I do that... That was two-way, wasn't it? So that should be quicker than going all the way around like they were before. Before! Correct. That's the area. Let's take a look at one of these again. Return into facility. Okay. Well, he's going that way. Let's pick one of these. Cargo train terminal. Yeah, look. He can go down there, but I think his other route... His previous route was that way, but I think he's going to go around here instead which is good it's just you need to leave it running for them to realise there's a better way to go but that definitely is two way isn't it yeah there we go so they can get out there and go back over here okay well maybe that will maybe that will assist that a bit um, I'm still thinking about what to do about that area but we will see we will see um, so Fix rail and road one way by the station. Yet we've done that. I have a couple of things on my list. Trash was another thing to quickly look at. Uh, landfill use, incineration usage. We have them pretty much everywhere. No one's complaining about trash not being collected. So that's good. Let's just check our water and electricity. Electricity is going to go down any minute. Any second now we're going to struggle. Let's just check what these guys are doing. Enough for 14 weeks. He's doing okay. 11 weeks and 16 weeks. We could add another solar power plant somewhere. I think we need to put these in a different area. <coughs> Excuse me. Somewhere maybe over here. Let's have a look. What's this one here? Hydro. Oh, we haven't done the hydro power plant yet. We can't do that, can we? Uh, must be roadside. Okay, let's... Can I go through here? Nope. Let's do a straight road. Let's 
to go up here. Nope, too far. Let's try that again. Oh, it did delete the building. Oh, no, it's still there. Let's go to there. And then along there. There we go, that'll do. Then we can add... Let's add one of those in over there. And we'll put... Those down the side. Oh, something I discovered the other day. There we go, that I didn't know. Look at this. And I can't believe I didn't know this. Say you're trying to run power over here. Let's just do that. Quite often it doesn't let you. You know, you sort of line it up correctly. That's saying no, a bit too far. It's not going to let you because of the one that appears in the middle. Did you know if you can do page up? Look. Look at that. You can actually go over the top. Let's place it and have a look. And build up your power lines to go over the top of things. I did not know that. That is fantastic. Let's delete that one. Just page up and page down like you do with the roads. Which is absolutely brilliant. Let's check our electrical usage. Yeah, we're fine. Water's okay. Let's just check our budget. Everything's on 100% so we're doing okay. Do you know what I'm going to do actually for my health care? More ambulances and hearses. Let's up that to 120%. Still making 21,000. We're doing okay. Something else that I want you to look at is my districts. Let's have a quick look at before. Add some policies on here. Smoke detector distribution would be good. So we're making plus 20,000 at the moment. Let's do that. and see how that affects things. Pet ban recycling. Smoking ban. Increases health, education boost, recreation, free public transport for all citizens. That is something I wanted to do for the whole city. City policies, free public transport. So we're making plus 18, plus 19,000. If I tick that, so that should decrease traffic a lot. Is it going to affect my budget much? Let us see how that goes. Uh, industrial space planning. Allow entry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few safety laws. High-tech housing. Oh, we had high-tech housing up here. Let's go and check that out. Plus 16,000. Money's going down. We shall see. Are you still moaning because of dead people? Yes, you are. Even though we've got them added in there. How many extra hearses have they got now of up the budget? Nine. And one over here somewhere. Okay, maybe that will help with that. Didn't we have high-tech housing in Hermit Hills? High-tech housing, we did. High-rise ban. No, we don't want that. Heavy traffic ban. That's okay, because nobody's coming up here anyway. Parts and recreation, free public transport we've got everywhere. Tax relief for high-density residential. I think, yeah, we won't worry about that just now. But yeah, we have the high-tech housing added in over here. Let me just take a look around and see what sort of... Whether we've got any different sort of buildings. Oh, people are queuing for the buses. Look at that. Why don't we pop down and say hello? Hello, everybody. We have all the twins out. My, oh, my. So many people waiting for the bus. Excuse me, coming for... Oh. Hello, excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, oh, sneezing, we need a tissue. Hello, yep, sorry about that. Yep, yep, let me through. Oh, you're waiting for the bus this way. So many people. Good grief. Oh, here we go, look, they're all going to get on the bus now. Nope, you were late. <laughs> I love it when you get a load of skateboarders all together, and they all do, look, you can see them all doing exactly the same thing. It's like on a loop. <laughs> but this is brilliant. I love coming down and looking and seeing what's going on. Looks very, very good. But I did see some high-tech housing along here somewhere. Here we go, look. Solar panels on the roof. Oh, that's the elementary school. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. These teeny tiny houses. Is that because I haven't zoned? It is. I haven't zoned that correctly. Zone. There we go. So we've got a few commercial in here. Any other high-tech housing? Nothing that I can spot. Yet, but maybe we'll get this upgraded. I'm thinking we should change this. This is all low, low residential 
here. I want to. We've got a bit of residential need. Let's up this to high density. Can I just do that over the top? No, I've got to dezone it first, and then rezone it like that. And people will move out and move back in. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, right click. That's the easiest way. Then left click. Let's get all this up to up to spec. We want high residential in here. I think that would be it. Yeah. Oh, power, power. Power's disconnecting. But as soon as that zone's in, that will fill up again. So do not worry about that. Just got to make sure all the zones are in. Do you know what? I might just add... Yeah, let's page down. doesn't have to be as high. Let's just do that, just to keep them happy. Uh, let's just do that. Can I get power across there? Just don't want anybody abandoning their places. That will get power all the way around there, won't it? Hopefully. Kick in. Pow, 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 pow. Power everywhere. Good, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can take these out, actually. We don't need those. Come on. Just want to remove the power cable. There we go. No power again. What? They bought you power. Okay. Oh, I see. Because people are moving in and out. Let's attach that to there. That should fix that. Hopefully. And then we need more commercial. There we go. We need got a commercial demand. So actually, we can add a bit of commercial in here, can't we? Let's add high-density commercial. Why not? Let's have one there and one there. Maybe spread a little bit around here. I think that might be an idea. Let's do that. So they don't have to travel so far. Let's get some in the corner here. There we go. Back to moaning about power again. Oh, they're going to keep doing that until this thing fills up, aren't they? So, there's not a huge amount we can do about that, apart from add more power lines in. I hope the, you can't hear the building work going on outside too much. Digging up the road, which is a pain in the neck. But there we go. Okay, buildings are burned down. These are still abandoned. Yes, still abandoned, but there we go. Before we leave here, I want to prettify this a bit. We're going to add some trees in, and we're going to use the tree brush tool. So we can place individual trees. We can do plus and minus. Look at that, to get a brush to fill this in. The brush goes huge. Let's just go up to the biggest size. Ooh, and it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. Keeps going. So you can literally cover vast areas with the brush. Let's shrink that back down again. You can also right click and remove trees. So there is a 250,000 cap on trees. Right click, remove some trees. There we go. But we're going to place some trees. Make this a tiny bit smaller. We're going to brush all around here. And we're going to make Hermit Hills the nicest place to live because we're going to have trees. Everywhere you can have trees. Look at that. That looks nice. Don't know how many trees I've just placed. <laughs> Probably quite a lot. Let's go back to the power. They're still complaining about the power. Stop complaining. Okay, we'll go like that. And we'll go like that. Hopefully that will sort that out. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Lovely with all the trees. Well, they're going ham outside with the dig in, so I think we're going to draw this episode to a close. I think that's looking nice. Got some pollution over here, but never mind. Thank you again for your tips. Keep those coming. Do appreciate that. And I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like as well. We're going to try and aim to get 500 likes per episode. If we can do that, then I release the next episode early. So that's up to you guys. But I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.